In this one, we're going to show you how to get to the hidden treasures in the Delve. Hello Exile, you're watching Altec 2K Gaming. If you were around in Delve, you probably don't know how to get to these areas. One of my guildmates asked me about it, so I thought I would make a video just in case it helps anyone else. So here we go. Firstly, we're looking for certain nodes. So whenever you find one of these areas, start working around the area, like so. Okay, so what we'll notice here is there is a point that only has two connectors to it. As a general rule, ones like to stay on their own, so they don't tend to join up to anything, so we can ignore those. Anything that's four can't physically have any more connectors, so this one goes this way, this way, this way, and this way. That can't possibly be connected to it. A two is more likely to be a three than a two, so we'll go for this two. Once you get to the location, we're just going to kill everything in it. Okay, so everything's dead. Grab the loot. Now you'll notice here, there's a load of paths. There's this one and there's this one and we don't necessarily want to go down the wrong one because going down the wrong one is going to use our flares so what do we do we take the cart again and go to the next junction so that we can see now this rules out this path because it can't be this one now there is one exception to this sometimes at the beginning of these there can be exit points that go to those hidden areas but that's the exception not the rule okay so we've gone past we're going to go back okay we're good so it's this way so as we run through here, we're going to drop these flash charges, uh, flares even, kill everything in the area. And we've got a choice here. And you basically just want to run as quickly as possible dropping these flares. And we found it. So let's blow that up. And then exit. We then go back to our car. And now we've opened up the passage. And if you haven't played the Delve yet this league, it seems a lot more difficult early on now. So just a warning, it can be quite rippy early. Okay, so that solves the two ones. What about this one because I don't see another two three there's a three we're actually going to try this one to try and make it a four now you do make sure to stock up your flares before you go back in this uses a lot of flares on the grounds that we don't know where it is so we're going to have to use a lot more than usual here okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and work out how many different paths there are there's two that way and there's one this way. So these two connect together, but then they exit again into separate areas. So there is a good chance that this is a four way. So let's run it. And then we're going to do what we did before, which is run at every point off it. So this one. Back. So it's probably that way. And actually, this would be a good point. Um, when we finish this, we'll get a certain amount of Azerite drop, which we can measure. The hidden we can then see if the hidden area does actually yield more. Okay, so what do we got? It doesn't tell you anymore. Oh, it does, above your head. 1,199. And then we're going to go this way. This is a long way off. There it is. We got it. Okay, it's gone. And then we're going to get back as quickly as possible because we don't want our old flares to run out because then we'll have to use some more to get back. Okay. And there we go. We've opened it up. Why did I think it was this one and not this one? It's because of the angle. And I don't know if this actually makes any difference, but that's what I tend to go for. I look for one that's a bit abnormal and that will tend to be the one. Okay, so 1,199 that way. Let's get to the end of this one. Now, it is important to have your flares with you and make sure you've got more than you need. Because if you don't, you'll end up running out of flares and dying, which is not very good. And it's down. Okay, so let's start adding this up. One thousand one hundred sixty. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. But it is what it is. We got both of them. Ideally, you're looking for these things, 
not particularly dust fence, but um, the exalted symbol when you're looking for these, because the exalted symbol is where all your currency drops, and it's where you'll make your most money in general. Some other nodes are the ones we showed originally, which was the like, cold nodes, because they can drop some really good rings with regards to giving frostbite and all that good stuff. And then the other ones you want to go for is fossils. And the whole point in Delve really is to get your fossils and do your deterministic crafting. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.